Howdy guys. Just thought I'd quickly cut in here. I'm having a bit of a blinder of a session here on garfish and mullet. Seem to be catching them one after the other, so. Just got down here and got, we got five garfish, four good sized mullet straight up. And they're good size, so. plan is if the weather's good tomorrow I'm hoping to go outside and trawl some live baits and big lures something different but it all depends on the swell and weather we'll just have to see tomorrow morning anyway I'll try and show you what's going on here because they're just yeah they're really on the bite they're not mucking around today oh I had him garfish in there so hopefully we can take them outside tomorrow and um, yeah get some kingies or something would be nice centimeter range nice big fat one too yeah, a few in there now looking good for tomorrow another beautiful gari there geez they're a top fish I haven't actually tried eating these before but I've heard they're good eating the bones just cook down the nothing I've heard. Another little beauty here. Shame I can't keep them alive, these garries, so I'm just putting them on the ice and keeping the mullet alive. Gari, oh, yep, another Gari here. I can't complain of it. It's good fun too. Take the kids down here. They love this kind of stuff. Always catching fish. Very visual for them. Jeez, be eight in there now. Eight Garis. Ten mullet. Ten good sized mullet. little gari here I think oh, it might be a mullet yeah a little mullet I think I've almost got enough here guys get me going tomorrow yeah got about 10 mullet maybe a bit more yeah, 8 garis don't want to get too many mullet because you crowd them overnight you could get a couple of die so. especially if they're a bit bigger you want to i'll go home and put them in a bigger bigger container as well and put them on the aerator overnight morning guys cracking morning this morning Gonna try and get outside today. Hopefully the weather's kind to us. I've got this beautiful realistic looking squid. I'm gonna trawl around, it's got a nice big hook on it. And we've got these lovely live mullet I caught yesterday. Ended up getting about 14 of them in the end. Oh jeez, I forgot my garfish. <laughs> Bummer. Anyway, we've got the mullet. I forgot my garfish. I left them in the fridge unfortunately. I always forget some million things to get in the morning. Anyway, we just got a big hook set up for the mullet on a sinker. 
and we've got a mullet set up in case we have to catch some more later and I'm planning the slow trawl these mullet around the heads for an hour or some see how we go it's a bit slow we might anchor up or drift out there depending on the conditions out there hopefully it's not too bad hopefully it swells down anyway we'll find out in a couple of minutes let's rip in mullet out there and I've got a running sinker on that yeah I've got a running sinker on that um, so it'll get me down a bit mid water while we're slow trawling we're gonna give this big guy a go yeah couldn't resist it it's like a fat kid in the candy shop in there, I think it hits that. It's so realistic. Anyway, we're just going to slow trawl that. Haven't they put it in the water yet? We'll have a look. Yeah, it looks alright. Never know. So, something like that, we're aiming for a kingfish, tailor, salmon, tuna on the trawl, mackerel. Never know. Well, guys, I just had a smoking run on my mullet. This feels absolutely ginormous. I've got no idea what it is. It took off 100 miles an hour. No chance of stopping it. Yeah, this is, this is something. Something something large is this wow I'd really like to have a look at this because I haven't had a fish with this kind of weight on it for a long time so yeah be really interesting to see what it is I'm dealing with 20 pound braid here, 30 pound fluorocarbon trace, so I'm not overly got thick line on here, so I just really got to play him well. Got no idea what it is yet. Kind of had a bit of shark feel about it, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. Then those good runs, I'm really not sure what it is. Staying deep. Still got a fair bit of line out on me. But I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit back on him. Not much, but whoa. Every time I think he's run out, he off he goes again. I'm really unsure what I've got here.
could be a giant ray or something. I really don't know. It hasn't anchored on the bottom or anything, so maybe it's not a ray. But you wouldn't think so. We're out in the ocean here. Live mullet. You really wouldn't think it's a ray. Jeez, I might be getting closer, you guys. I might turn that motor off. actually coming up here and we may get a look at him oh whoa 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 just as you think you got him beat off he goes again Oh god, I don't know how long I've been on this fish now, but wow. I think this is a huge shark guys. I've got a shark about I don't know, he's about two meters long. Bronze whaler by the look of him. But geez, wow, he tested my tackle out, guys. I've done very well to land this shark on 20 pound line, 30 pound mono trace. Done extremely well to land him. Good as land him anyway. We got him to the boat, we had a look at him. I'm not too fussed if I lose him now. But wow. Wow, these guys go. Look at the size of that, would ya? Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Wow. And I can't believe I've actually landed this, guys. On just a mono fluorocarbon trace. I really can't believe I've landed him. I must have lipped him or something. But this guy should have bit through that like butter. Wow, look at that. 
There we go, there goes. That is one beautiful looking fish here. Just as I thought I was gonna land him, off he goes. And I don't know the weight of this, but I'm guessing it's got to be oh, 50 kilo fish, I guess. Probably heavier. Yeah, probably heavier. Wow. Look at that, guys. Have a go at that. That is beautiful. And I don't know if you can see the size comparison, but it's a decent fish. Wow. I'd love to lift him in, actually. I'd love to lift him in. Lost him. Just come inside, guys. It's getting a little bit breezy now. It's getting a bit choppy outside. And I was a bit tired after biting that shark in. So, yeah. Thought we'd come back inside. I was going to pull that shark on board and get, get a good picture with it, but. Thinking about it now, probably wasn't the best idea to pull that shark on board. He was quite a heavy fish and quite could cause me a lot of problems in the boat. So probably best we let him go the way we did. Hopefully we got a few good snaps on the GoPro anyway. Anyway, we'll, yeah, we'll come in and enjoy some peace and quiet in here. Bit of calm water. Still got some mullet there. Um, yeah, we'll just have a bit of a drift and try and pick up a couple of flatheads to top the day off. I'll try on in here, and if we go no good, I'll probably head out towards the drop over, a bit deeper water. But yeah, we'll just see how we go. I've got a nice big mullet on here, about 15 centimetres, so it's a good sized mullet, get a good sized flathead. Let's see if they play ball. Go on here guys On the drift Feels okay Nothing major Feels reasonable Oh yeah It's got a bit of weight
probably lift this guy. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful lizard, about 50 centimetres. About 50 centimetres, not bad. About 50 centimetres. Yeah, not bad. And as you can hear, I'm very close to the shoreline here. Get commentators walking past. Let's see if I can get this hook out. Yep, beautiful release there. And yeah, 51 centimeter flathead. Whoa, we're gonna let that guy go. Come here, mate. There he goes. Look at that for a little snack for a bait. Tiny little squid. We'll get him on the ice. Yeah, I'm just drifting along the break wall here. There seems to be a quite a few squids, so I'm just flicking my... Um, squid jig in there and that was the first cast and I pulled one out so hopefully there's a few around well guys I got a big tailor on here I really hope I land him I'd say I've lipped him because otherwise he would have bit me clean off a nice tailor jeez he's a nice one Oh, what a beautiful tailor. Nice big thumper. I lipped him. He would have bit me clean off. Oh, he bit me off anyway. Bit me off anyway, he did. Yeah, I got lucky he lipped him there. I wonder what he goes. He's a, he's a nice one. He's going to be getting close to 50. Not that big. 46 centimetres. 46 centimetre tailor. Absolutely stunning. I was going to let all my fish go today, but I'll keep him for the smoke box. He'll go beautiful. Beautiful on the smoke box, he will. Just got to bleed these guys out. Smash me. Feels like a snapper actually, a little, oh maybe not, it's coming up, might be another tailor, yeah it's another nice tailor, got this one on the squid this time, oh god, what's he done here, managed to twist me up somehow, another beautiful tailor, Getting up to that 40 centimetres, that one. Not as big as the last guy, but still a good fish. Check out the size of that one. Getting a nice little smorgasbord together here. I'm gonna try and resist to put them on live. <laughs> I'll see how I go. <laughs> Look at that little snack. Oh, I'm going to do my best to not put him on live, as I said, guys. I'm going to try and eat some calamari tonight. Oh, I hope so. I can never seem to resist to put him back down. Oh, the calamari and smoked fish is looking good, guys. Pulling them in one after the other. Another one here, guys. A 
another beautiful squid. I tell you what, I'm going to have a good feed when I get home. These squid are coming in one after the other. Another beautiful squid. Come up to number six now in here. Look at that guys. I'm just at the drop over here and geez, there's some massive garfish getting around and there's no shortage of them. There is tons of them. You just need a tiny bit of bread, little hook, just flick it out there. And yeah, there's no shortage of them. Another one. They're good fun. Good fun they are, the catch. And they're top bait. I might actually drop one down live in a minute. Got one. Another beauty here. Oh, there's a good size one, this one. Another beauty. And I'm going to whack him on straight live because why not? Why not? I say, I've got no mullet left, so we'll whack this guy just straight down live. And hopefully, hopefully he gets nailed. It's a good live bait. Oh, it's an octopus. Unbelievable. Bloody octopus. Bloody octopus. Another beautiful Gari. Jeez. It's a mixed bag today. Bit of everything. Shark, flathead, squid, jarfish. Mixed bag. Yeah, they're really easy to catch, guys. You want to feed a garfish, just come out the drop over, bit of bread. Small float. And yeah, really easy to catch. There we go guys, another adventure done. Jeez, the drop over is a really good spot for garfish I found out. Bit of bread, they go crazy. Yeah, all over the place. And really eager. They really smash your bread. They're not subtle on it at all, which is unusual for garfish. So if you want a good feed of garfish guys, get out the drop over. Plenty there, heaps of squid too. Good combination actually. Yeah, we done all right in the end. I wasn't gonna keep any fish, but um, kept a bit of smoked fish, the tailor. We got about eight squid and about eight garfish in the end. So yeah, done well. Nice little feed there. Yeah, so it wasn't a bad day in the end. Nice little banquet for myself when I get home. I'm gonna smoke those tailor, salt and pepper calamari, and I think I'll keep those garfish for bait. I have heard they're good eating, but they seem a bit small for, a bit fiddly for my liking, so I'll keep them for bait, they'll be good bait. Anyway guys, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing, and I'll see you guys on the water. Catches.